finally, we'll get to the playoffs. Playoffs, playoffs, playoffs. Yeah, Chris. So, uh, you know, we've already announced, uh, well, we've already gone through it. You know, Miles College and Virginia Union will be representing the CIAA in the uh, CIAA and the SIC in the playoffs. Um, you know, a couple of weeks ago, Chris, we were talking about potentially, you know, three guy, you know, three programs in the CIAA, but probably more realistically two um, there. And we went from, you know, high in the sky, three to strong two to just one over in the CIAA. Um, I know you talked about it linked at other places, but your initial re- how shocked were you on a scale of one to ten that that Johnson C. Smith did not get in, and uh, and 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 just kind of give me your you just this is this just you know what full screen full screen them Kobe full screen them it's all on Chris. Well, let me just tell you, I, I got some wine when I went to uh, one of the Virginia wineries uh, after I left the CIW championship game, and and it's all gone. Uh, because of just how, how I felt about this whole deal. I didn't like it. Um, I, when looking at the numbers, uh, what was really interesting is that uh, the, the numbers really sort of favored um, more than one school getting into the playoffs. And from week to week, you kind of saw those numbers change, mainly because it, it all was predicated on JCSU. Uh, when JCSU lost that game that got shut out by Fayetteville State, um, that caused them to go down in the in the regional rankings. Because uh, if they had won out, they'd have been, you know, vying for, you know, a top three seed at minimum. Then you had them lose to Livingstone. And, and, and that had a, a domino effect because it knocked VU out. I mean, uh, of the of – the, um, well, it knocked them down in the regional rankings, and it knocked Winston State down, a team that JCSU won. Um, and said head to head is a criteria for the playoffs. So you're kind of stuck with this conundrum because you got JCSU that does not look like a playoff team at that point in time, but they have built this really great resume up to about week eight. And what do you really do? Uh, does the committee re- uh, leapfrog? Um, uh, uh, JCSU, I mean, VU over JCSU. That was a question mark going into Sunday. Could the same possibly happen with West Cell State leapfrogging uh, JCSU as well? Um, because we WSU had like better like performance indicators, um, than some of the other teams, even from the South Atlantic. So they were certainly in play, but you had this head-to-head uh, uh, criteria to deal with, and they, that didn't favor them. So when Sunday came, you know, they were it could have went from three South Atlantic teams in to three CIAA teams in, and it was like, well, what do you really do with JCSU at that point? And you look at what happened in the last two weeks, and, and they didn't have, like, JCSU, VU, Winston State, Lenore Ryan, Carson Newman, JCSU, if I remember correctly, had the weakest strength of schedule. It wasn't weak, it was just the weakest of that group. And that did not help with Cell State with head to head. So they put in three uh, uh, South Atlantic teams. Uh, that was Wingate, number two seed, uh, Lenore Ryan, and Carson Newman. And JCSU when we sell state got left out. And again, nice to be a homer. Um, I did not think the committee was going to leapfrog uh 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 when sell state over John C. Smith. I just didn't see it happening. I was quite honestly, I was very um I was very surprised that they allowed VUU to get in over JCSU. But I suspect that it's because VU have played more games. I know there was a um, a, a poster associated with uh, Westchester who follows me online. I never got a chance to respond back. You know, he showed the criteria. I and 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 when I looked at it, it was really a matter of um, one of the difference makers goes back to something I've been saying for some time. Uh, 
the CIAA only playing 10 games hurts. And the same thing with SIC, it hurts when you get to play our time. Because if you don't make the championship games and you only play 10 teams, like the difference in win percentage plus SOS, the difference between Lenore Ryan and Johnson C. Smith came down to Lenore Ryan had played an extra game and won. Forget the fact that Lenore Ryan almost lost to like Anderson, who just started football. Like they needed a field goal in the waning seconds of that of that last regular season game. The fact that they picked up and forget Anderson's one and seven division two, the fact that they played that 11th game made a difference in this case. And I thought that maybe, you know, Wichita State don't need to play an 11th game because their strength of schedule is actually, like, higher. But Wichita State only played nine Division II games. And JCSU had, had played 10 games. And Lenore Ryan, Carson Newman, Wingate, they played 11 game schedules. And that hurts. Um, so I, I just, you know, in, in the end, it's a structural disadvantage uh, that we that the that the two conferences have put themselves in. Um, I don't know what you really do about that if if the, the they don't want to play eleven games. Um, so you're just kind of stuck. Um, and that's that's just is what it is. It sucked. But as I've said online, if you're an HECU conference in Division Two, you cannot be put at the you cannot expect to get in if you're the second team and you are um, you're on the seven line. We've seen that happen too many times. Wisconsin State was um, nine and two, 2014. That's when they had six teams in the playoffs, the Super Region One. They did not get in when they lost Virginia State at nine and two, because they were right there at the sixth line and they got leapfrog. Um, you've seen it with Fort Valley, who could have got in. Um, I think they were like eight and two. They didn't get in. They were on the seven line the week before, a couple of years ago. They didn't get in. And it, this is the same thing. You don't play 11 games. Um, you, uh, you run the risk. If you don't play 11 games and you don't finish the season with one loss, if you got two or more losses, you run the risk of not getting into the playoffs if you don't play and have not a 9-2 and two record if you can't get into the championship game um, because that's just how it is. If you think about, like, 2017, 2018, like, like when, when, when the conference got two teams in, um, it was the uh, – it was the um, um, two C six C three C six C something like that would happen, but but with a seventeen playoff, when you're on that seven line, you're not getting a second team in. You're just not. That's just the fact of the matter. And I, and I'm done. Oh, they should start scheduling harder out of conference teams. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Here's why. Here's why. Because the CIAA scheduled really well this year. They not only scheduled really well, they beat a lot of teams out of conferences. This is probably like the best I've seen the CIAA out of conference, maybe since I've been covering the conference, and that might be 2016, 2017. Like, you beat – like, VU got the benefit of a Kentucky State team that got better um, over time. They got better. They ended up four and six. Like, we were clowning them at the beginning of the season. They ended up four – like, no, they ended up, sorry, four and five in Division Two play. Berg is so hot with it. He just – He's so hot with it, man. He's just his, his internet wouldn't even take it, man. Um, <laughs> he'll be back in – in a second, uh, he was uh, he was uh the D two the D two powers that be trying to shut him down. But you know what? We're not going down that easy. Um, I just wanted to say, um, breaking down the Bulldogs, you know my CIAA North teams, y'all y'all like I say, y'all are so cute. Y'all like the you know act like y'all are rivals. This is how bad 
Winston, this is how bad Johnson C. Smith and Livingstone and Winston Salem State hate each other. Winston Salem State, Johnson C. Smith knocks Winston Salem State down. Then Livingstone and Fayetteville State beat Johnson C. Smith to knock them out of the playoffs. I mean, it's just uh, <laughs> the level of hate rolling from I-85 North. You guys, you would never understand it if you were outside looking in. I do think we have Chris Chris back. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. Have you have you cooled down the temperature in there, man? Because it was it was getting rather steamy. Uh, I'm fine. I mean, I'm just as you can tell. I I'm just annoyed by kind of what happened, and there's a lot of history behind this. And uh, you know, hey, it is what it is at this point. 